Has someone ever come up to you and told you about their great game idea that they're going to develop and it's going to be awesome and there's going to be all these cool features and stuff and you've asked them, what will you be actually doing in the game? And they're sort of like, I don't know, we'll just, you know, you'll be killing vampires and stuff. Lots of people have game ideas like this, but they're missing one of the key things that is the difference between something like a film and a game, and that's gameplay. We're about to cover how to go from having ideas and then get them into gameplay, into prototypes, into small games, primary, secondary, and tertiary gameplay loops. The thing that you want to focus on the most when you're coming up with a game, when you're working on a prototype, when you have an idea and you're trying to get it into something, or if you're going into a game jam and you need to get something out really quickly, is you want to focus on the primary gameplay loop. The primary gameplay loop is the small loop of things that the player is going to be doing over and over and over. It's sometimes described as the thing that the player will be doing second to second. What is the small little thing that the player is going to do for the entire game constantly? In Call of Duty, this might be shooting and reloading. In a platformer, it might be jumping and maneuvering around in the air. You want to take time to really nail down what the player is doing second to second and make it feel good. There's a somewhat famous story about the design of Mario 64. Nintendo didn't just say, hey, we've got a Mario game and start building levels. They spent the first couple of months of development in a blank room just working on Mario's movement so that his movement and actually getting Mario around the space felt as good as it possibly could. Naughty Dog had a similar thing they were working on with the Jack games, where they had two spheres, and their mantra for those games were, if we can get these two spheres to feel good to move around in a grey block out level, once we dress it all up with art, it will feel great. Because the player is going to be doing the primary loop so much, really focus a lot of your time into getting that tuned in right. Does the player know what they need to do? Is it fun to do? Is it juicy? Does it feel nice? Does it have lots of feedback? From there, you can think about the secondary gameplay loop. The secondary gameplay loop is the next level up from the primary gameplay loop. In the way that the primary gameplay loop is second to second, you can think about the secondary gameplay loop as what will the player be doing minute to minute? And it will usually be constructed of having to go through these little primary gameplay loops constantly. The secondary gameplay loop kind of gives you something to build towards. In a game like Mario, it might be a level. So you've got jumping and jumping on Goombas and taking out enemies as your primary loop, mostly just this jumping process of jumping on things and moving back and forth. And then you string that together in a series of those loops to get to a level. And you'll then do this primary loop over and over and over to complete a level. And then you'll do the secondary loop over and over to complete several levels in a row. You wanna try and make your secondary loop explore all of the possibilities of your primary loop. Each different level in Mario will often introduce a new obstacle for Mario to overcome by using his jumping and maneuvering skills and that lets the designers really kind of play with that primary gameplay loop. It also gives the player some direction. It's important for the player to always have a goal and so by having this secondary gameplay loop be tuned in enough so that they understand what they're doing, from minute to minute they're able to navigate their way around the game. The final one is the tertiary gameplay loop. And as you've probably already guessed, this can be thought of as the hour to hour gameplay. Now, not every single game is going to have three loops. And these loops lengths are going to change depending on what game you're playing. Something like Overcooked, you could probably say that the tertiary gameplay loop is just finishing the level with a high score, which is kind of just down to the couple of minutes area. Whereas something like Mario, you might say that the gameplay loop is finishing a world or saving the princess, much, much larger of a scope of time. But the important thing is it's built up from the secondary gameplay loop and it gives the player direction for a longer period of play. The primary gameplay loop is what you do, and you string that together to do the secondary gameplay loop, but what's gonna keep the player engaged for a whole hour? That can be quite a lot of time. Do they have a goal that they're heading towards? Is it a story beat? If you think about a mobile game, are they working towards getting enough resources to build a big building or buy a specific unit, something like that? Looking at all these different loops at different levels give you a structure that you can build out. If you spend a lot of time getting that primary gameplay loop feeling really, really nice, you can take that and explore it through multiple uses of the secondary loop. And then you can use your tertiary loop to give a little bit of purpose and direction to all of that gameplay by pointing the player in a specific direction. And just to reiterate, just to make it absolutely perfectly, 100%, 
in your face clear. Make sure you spend your time perfecting the primary gameplay loop so that the thing that the player is doing the most from second to second, the thing that they're coming back to the game for and doing the entire time feels really good to do. If you're a little bit confused about how you might construct these loops, that's okay. I've got a video on loops in game design that'll be on the screen right now. Next to the subscribe button is a notification bell. If you want more videos like this, make sure to ring it. Hit like and I'll see you in the next one.